Hey guys, this is Caspi with Tape, and today you join me for another episode of Subscriber Designs, and we start on the runway with a little thing. You may be wondering, what is this? This is just a three parts, but no, this is a flying saucer. When I fire up the engine, there's a little engine in there. Um, kind of inside here, there's a bunch of internals, and yes, it, it is a VTOL, so I'm doing my obligatory VTOL. Um, there's also actually wings and stuff in here, a little bit of fuel, another engine for going forward. So it is technically just like a VTOL plane inside here, because it's got the uh, reaction wheel. Um, it can turn pretty well. So yeah, this is uh, this is a VTOL, and uh, of course we have to do a oh shit fuck our obligatory VTOL. Uh, far up the other engine, let's get going over to the thing. <laughs> it looks really cool. It is a proper flying saucer. It is a saucer which flies. This is from Quantum Destroyer, by the way. I totally forgot to say. Um, but yes, so <laughs> look at that. I love it. Because I, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, okay, you put some engines in a thing. But it's actually a pretty well machined craft inside here. Um, and it just looks so sleek. I love it. I love stuff like this. So yes, let's see if I can land this on the VAB. My standard challenge for any VTOL. Um, and stop dead and throttle down and just kind of keep it on top of the KSC, I guess. Uh, alright. Okay. Way. Alright. Okay. It's looking good. Looking goo. Gotta throttle up again. Gotta slow that down. Oh, shit. Nailed it. Perfect. Oh, and there you go. There's the craft. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so that's the obligatory VTOL. Kind of hard to land. The engines aren't that powerful. But still, I really like that. I thought it was really cool. No mods or anything. Just just engineering. So thank you to Quantum Destroyer. And let's move on to the next thing. So the next craft I'm looking at come to me from Benjamin. And these, well, they're a pair of World War II fighters. We've got ourselves a Spitfire and a BF-109 Messerschmitt. And yes, they're pretty cool. They use the um, Airplane Plus uh, propeller engines like we use in Fall of Kerbin. And yeah, this, uh, I really like how uh, the wings on this look. I really like how this looks. The only uh, the only gripe I have with it is this actually isn't the Spitfire engine. This is the Yak engine. There is a Spitfire engine in Airplane Plus, but uh, it really doesn't matter. It still looks pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, this is the BF-109. This actually is the BF-109 engine. Really cool. Um, although the wings are a little thin. But anyway, I'm just going to fly these around. I do like how they look. Um, sadly, they aren't armed because this is KSP 1.3 and BD Armory hasn't been updated. Um, so, yeah, if you're, doing, if you're planning on doing more kind of fighter jet showdown stuff for the next series, make sure you have a KSP 1.2 install um, or just, I guess, wait till 1.3 gets BD Armory. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, we're flying the Spitfire right now. Um, and it's pretty nice. It's actually a little, little tiny bit sluggish. I think, uh, yeah. What are these? Are these just? Oh, these are part of the uh, space, uh, the space plane pack, um, the uh, airplane plus pack. Anyway, I'm gonna try and fly this through the bridge since that is the uh, standard test for a plane. I should probably loop back, and then I'm gonna fly the uh, BF-109. Um, no, I do like the world, the older aircraft. The thing is, is most of the um, aircraft I feature are in fighter jet showdown. Um, so that usually lends itself to more modern jets because they're obviously going to perform, well, more modern planes, obviously this isn't a jet, because they're going to perform uh, much better. So I rarely get to look at things like this, and it is a shame I couldn't arm them with some, I guess, 30 cals on a Spitfire. Um, hmm, are they? Yeah, yeah there was a bunch of variants, but one of them had like 8 30 cals or something. Uh, anyway, so yes, let's fly it through here and see if I can pull out just in time. In fact, I don't even think I'm going to hit... Yeah, nailed it. <laughs> that was some terrible piloting. Let's try the BF-109. Um, so there we go. What was I saying? Something about 30 cows? I don't know. Uh, yeah, we're talking of subscriber designs. So that will be back, I think, probably next episode or the episode after. So, uh, do get your stuff in for that. Uh, I guess, for now, KSP 1.2. Um, you can just Google how to revert your version on Steam to 1.2. Um, and generally I'd advise just keeping old versions around on your hard drive by copying the game. Um, anyway, let's see if this is a little more uh, agile. I forgot how bad this engine is at low altitudes because, uh, yeah, it's what I used on my uh, on my Pythons in, in, in World War II and Fall of Kerbin. But now we're using Spitfire engines, funnily enough. Um, anyway, let's loop around. Let's get turning. And there we go. No, okay. Oh, no. Oh, who say? Oh. Oh. Huh? Ah, 
float through the bridge and crash it into the building. Fuck yeah, nailed it. Anyway, I just thought those looked quite cool. They're nice renditions, even though one of them didn't use the right engine. Now you know how it is to be on the other side of the comment section. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's look at the next thing, though. Thank you very much to Benjamin for this. So the next thing we're looking at comes to me from Frank, and apparently this is a space frigate, but the craft is named Station. Um, so I'm not really sure. There's actually one very specific thing I want to look at on this, and that's the escape system. But yeah, we'll take a quick look at this. Um, it's, yeah, called Station. It's a space frigate. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's just like a pretty, pretty, pretty decent space station. Uh, it's got lights. Ooh, are they colored? No, just normal lights. And it's got, what's this? Is this the start? What are we doing? The Sentinel? Okay. Yeah, I don't, I, I, no, I haven't played KSP 1.2, so <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, so it's just like a space station, and here you've got a bunch of um, fuel cells, powered by fuel cells. I guess that's more frigatey, right? Because you wouldn't want solar panels all over the place. You also have a bit of a science lab for, I don't know, uh, do battle research. You got your RCS tanks, and yeah, it looks pretty cool, and it's it's very nice. But the main thing, the main thing I want to look at on this before I, you know, get carried away looking at it, looking at other things, is the escape system because they're like little seated escape systems. So I've loaded this up with kerbals, and we'll get over there so you can see what I mean more easily. Um, what are you doing, Kerbal? Jesus, man, get your shit together. Yeah, so right. If you need to get out in emergencies, I guess probably in some, uh, if it's a frigate, then some battle-related emergency. Um, oh, and this is uh, hybrided it into orbit, by the way, because it's kind of big. Didn't know how to launch it. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so you, you get your kerbals out, you get them in here. Shit, fuck. Come on. And then you can just eject, and although they're not enclosed, they are behind a heat shield, so they should be able to... Uh, should be able to survive re-entry, and we're going to test that. That's the main thing I want to look at on this. I like I like weird things that maybe will work, but maybe won't. So, uh, yeah, I thought this would be the ideal thing for me to look at. Um, so we got our fourth Kerbal out. We'll just do one of these, and then deorbit. See how many Kerbal survive. There we go. It's all powered on uh, these, uh, these fuel cells. I don't know if there's any fuel in here, but I guess we'll find out. Let's do a quick, quick save. And then, oh no, something's gone wrong, we must abort, leaving about 10 Kerbals on board, but they're not important, they're all wearing red shirts. And, yes. So now we can, I guess, just have to point prograde. Do these... Do these work? No. Okay, doesn't matter. What we're gonna do is, get the fuck out of dot. Get the fuck out! Get the fuck out of... Why can't I fire the engines? Get the fuck out of dodge? What? Why can't I do it? There we go! Get the fuck out of Dodge! <laughs> Staging was just a little messed up. And there we go, we're nice and deorbited. We're on a whoa, steep trajectory. Then we're gonna wanna flip the fuck around and uh, head home. Maybe we'll even get somewhere, probably the ocean. Yeah, does this have parachutes? Okay, maybe this wasn't an escape system. Who cares, we're going home now. Um, yeah, feel like parachutes might have been useful. Maybe, but it's fine, I'm sure. I'm sure this is safe. Um, okay, it would be nice if we were landing on land now, because it's, the Kerbals basically can't be killed by the ground. You can, they can fall at any speed and they'll be fine. And yeah, there we go, we're heating up. Yeah, ooh, hey. maybe I should have saved some of these, turned it around and slowed, oh, that would've been cool. Yeah, you know what, it does work. I was thinking these uh, Kerbals might fall off and die or burn up or something, but I doubt they'll survive re-entry, well, survive impact. Of course they survived re-entry, they just probably won't survive impact. But anyway, we are coming to the end of the video now, and uh, I just thought I'd uh, mention what's going to be happening with this series, because fi Fighter Jet Showdown will be coming back, as I mentioned, um, and I think what I'm going to do is bring that back uh, either next episode or the episode after, and the normal subscribe designs will become kind of a uh, sort of occasional thing, because I'm getting more things for Fighter Jet Showdown, because I think that's what people want to build stuff for. Um, and I'm going to do this more occasionally because there's not as many crafts sent to this anymore, which is fine because there's been so many episodes of this now. Um, so yeah, uh, as for the BD Armory situation, it's a little annoying um, because it hasn't been updated for 1.3. Oh, we're just going to watch this crash into the ocean first. Uh, no, they didn't survive. Yeah, probably should have included some parachute parachutes, bro. But still, I really like the um, escape system and the station was pretty cool as well. Uh, anyway. Yeah, so the BD Armory hasn't been updated for 1.3 yet. 
Um, so try to build your craft in 1.2. Um, you can just Google how to revert your Steam version to 1.2 and then build your craft in there with the 1.2 version of BD Armory. And then if it gets updated, then I can just use the 1.2 craft. Because the problem is in 1.3, in 1.2, I can't use 1.3 craft. So don't send me stuff built in 1.3 until BD Armory in 1.3 has been updated, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, basically, yeah, so. So yeah, for now, just 1.2, and if it gets updated, I'll mention it in a video, I'll keep track of it, so you don't all have to be looking around constantly. Um, but if you send them to me in 1.2, they'll definitely work. If you send me them in 1.3, maybe they'll work at some point in the future. Um, yeah, anyway, so I hope you have enjoyed the video, and I hope you're looking forward to Fighter Jet Showdown Season 2 which will be coming, and if you want to go check out a couple more videos now, there is my, my finale to Prison Architect, in which I go to prison. There's also a video I did the other day where I built a one kilometer wide artificial gravity ring. Um, yes, and there's also links to my Twitter, Twitch, and Patreon in the description if you're interested. But as always, I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been Caspi with Tape. I will see you next time.